हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू मोहिनी आर्ट गैलरी एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हैप्पी दिवाली टू यू ऑल सो टुडे वी विल बी पेंटिंग दिस दिया सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो इन दिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी पेंटेड द बैकग्राउंड विद ब्लैक इफ यू हैव ब्लैक water color paper then it's fine i was not having it so i just painted it with black acrylic colors and today i'll be using gouache colors so the colors which i'll be using here are this is lemon yellow i'm using here brustro gouache colors which is comes with 12 set then white after that this is scarlet red so this is scarlet red and that was burnt sienna so now let's start with the painting So first I'll draw just a rough sketch of the whole dia with burnt sienna with my liner brush. So I'm just drawing a rough sketch. So don't use too much of water when you're using gouache otherwise this whole color viscosity will be gone. So make sure that you use very little amount of water when you're using gouache colors. So I mostly do acrylics, but sometimes I do gouache because I like doing uh, used. I I like using this medium, so I use this. So the main difference between acrylic and gouache is this is water soluble and they are not. So I don't find much difference in using both of them. So one of the most important different differentiation was this that. gosh is water soluble so you have to use it very carefully when you are using gosh so i'm just creating i've just created this sketch and i'm using a little bit of black and cadmium orange so just giving a little bit of texture to it now with my round brush i have just taken raw white and very little amount of water and just creating the shape so I haven't used any color just white color that's it And after that I'll use a little bit of cadmium and create a little bit of light effect because that light is reflecting over this side so little bit of light effect i'll create with cadmium orange this is just the basic painting which i'm doing for gosh currently most of the portraits which i create when landscapes i do in acrylics I haven't tried a uh, gouache for big paintings so maybe in future I'll try out so first I'm trying out on small canvas you can see this this is from menora stationery you can find it on instagram and you can also check this painting on my instagram that is mohini art gallery there are many collections which I have painted including gouache watercolor and acrylics 
so most of the paintings are of acrylics and I mostly do portraits animal portraits and landscape I love doing landscape painting so now once the uh, light part is created I'll just add a bit of black and burnt sienna mix and create that dark effect that shadow effect one of the best thing of gouache is that you can do the color blending very easily in acrylics it's difficult but with practice that uh, it will be easier but in gouache you can do blending very easily because there are soluble there you can simply put water and you can just blend it nicely if you are using thick color don't use a very thin color otherwise that effect will not come so you can easily blend the lines in between and you can create a nice effect I'll try to create one class on uh, gouache, difference between gouache and acrylics. So I'll create one video on this. So maybe next video. So if you like my paintings, do like, subscribe and share. And if you are trying this painting, so do tag me on my Instagram that is Mooni Art Gallery and share your paintings. Here the brushes which I have used are mostly Brustro brush and some are Princeton brush and some are Artichel's brush also. There are different brands brushes I use. So the it's nothing one brush one brand which I use I use I try different different brands and whichever I like best I use that and this is again Bristol, Bristol brush and I'm just trying to create a little bit of effect And whenever you are using any acrylic painting or gouache painting, try to use thick paper. Otherwise, there might be chances that color may come behind if the paper is thin. So make sure you use thick paper. It doesn't matter if it's watercolor or something, but use thick paper. This is 300 GSM paper which I am using here. see how nicely the effect is coming when I am using very so for the shadow I have used little more water but for the entire painting I have used very less water just for blending purposes that's it I haven't used much water into it I also create one uh, class on Skillshare for this gosh painting, maybe November or December, maybe in late November, I'll try to publish the class on Skillshare about the gosh painting and that class will be especially for the winter because winters are coming. So I'm thinking of creating some class that is related to winter, snow or something like that. So I'm, I'll create that class and I'll show step by step process how to blend the colors, how to create a proper landscape, everything. So this is just the start of gouache painting, that's it. You can also try this in acrylics if you want. 
because both the techniques are same just a little bit of difference is there not much so just enjoy the process and let me know in the comment box how it looks This is the Artichoke's brush and it's very nice liner brush which I use for most of my paintings for creating details. So whenever you are creating any detail painting or liner painting, try to use very thin liner brush that is of size 00. That will create a very nice thin layer of the lines. So this painting is almost done. I am little adding little bit of uh, cerulean blue because that light has also flame has also blue inside that. So just adding a little bit of blue and more of white. guys if you like my painting do like subscribe and share that will be of great support and if you are trying this do tag me on my instagram account i would love to see them and share them So this painting is almost complete. I'm just the last part of the painting. this is it so I'm just taking out the masking tape which I have used you can see how nicely the border comes when you use masking tape so 
so this is it and i hope you like this painting like few uh, few detailings were not recorded because last you can see in the at the end it is not sharp so i have just uh, given the sharp edge at the end which you will see in my final painting picture that i could not record but it's fine so thank you for watching